With my senior project, I started building a saber-toothed cat out of steel, and for about three months straight, I just toiled and hammered and cut and welded together a saber-toothed cat. There's actually two components to this whole project. It was actually this, building a saber-toothed cat, and also building a fully functioning welding studio on campus. So how did it all really start? It started before this project where I made a leopard and I thought, you know what, where are the muscles at? What are, you know, just the musculature, the anatomy? And I looked at it, I'm like, wow, this is really cool. So I was like, you know what, go crazy, make it out of metal. We got a whole bunch of paper, the sculpture itself, and just right off the bat, paper templates. And as soon as I got the templates done, boom, rip it all off and trace them onto the steel and start cutting. And I'm very particularly interested in the anatomy of feline and carn carnivore anatomy. Anything carnivore, really. Predator ecology, predator conservation, predator anatomy is just everything about it I want to know. One can understand the evolutionary relationships between the different species and how they came about. And that's another one of uh, my greatest passions is the paleoecology, paleo anatomy, and the relationships between the different species and how they evolved through time. I've learned so much. I've learned how to draw. I've learned how to draw things, anatomy that is not there. From I've learned from comparative anatomy. Uh, I've had a picture of a, of, a, of a lion anatomy, and I'm like, okay, so the, where do each where does each muscle attach to, and what is the overall structure? And I've learned how to weld. Nothing is impossible uh, with the right attitude and a hammer.